Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, as usual, contains a mixture of machining, welding, steam engines and, of course, Stigler Dog. I'm here by myself. My wife's been on holiday all week. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is the draw for the Baco adjustable spanner will be paid. Before I do the draw, I must apologise to somebody called Anne Reynolds. Uh, she won a little pack of bayonets and bolts last week. Um, Anne lives in Australia and I haven't gotten on to post them because that's something that Dev does. Dev does all that sort of admin side of things, I suppose you could call it. Anyway, I'm really sorry there will be in the post as soon as Dev gets back, which is tomorrow. Right, let's get on and get the draw done for the adjustable spanner. There's not 20 or 30 names come in this week. That's like a steady trickle of names that come in. There's a one. Oh, of course. Dev wraps these up as well. I'll eat them out and she wraps them up. She makes a good job of it as well. Right, what we've got is Eric Johnson. Right, Eric, all you need to do is send me an email with your address and I'll post that off to you anywhere in the world. I really hope it's the UK because it's quite heavy. I'm going to do another draw. Like I say, I keep on doing draws as long as I can find things to give away, I suppose. This week's draw is going to be for a little battery DTI gauge. The Bob's done it. He's had it in the way and repaired it. It's absolutely mint. Um, all clean, calibrated, ready to go. I'll get a close-up shot of that. As always, if you want to go winning that, all you need to do is send me an email. That's my email address up there with your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out of the bucket, I'll post it off to you completely free of charge. As I keep saying, it's just a little way of me saying thanks very much for all the, the help and support I've had with this YouTube channel. Right, there it is, a lovely little battery DTI. You can see Bob's had it apart, he's even painted the case. A real nice little gauge. Well worth well worth having. I've been away with Richard all weekend at an agricultural show, tractor show, steam show, at a place called Brunton up in Northumberland. Uh, I've had a nice couple of days. It was a little bit cool this afternoon, but it was still all right. And there's a good 10 people come and uh, shook me hand, introduced ourselves, all viewers. It was great to see you. Uh, thanks very much for coming and shaking me hand. It, it, it's a nice feeling. Uh, thanks very much. I've got a part here to make. In fact, I've got to make two of them. Uh, it's quite an interesting part. It's all, all turning except for, for that slot. It's some sort of an adjuster screw for a, a woodworking machine. The interesting part is this eccentric part here. So the head diameter and that diameter are concentric and the diameter of this pin is eccentric, it's offset. I would imagine it'll be imperial. 1260, that's half inch, it is imperial. What I'll do, I'll draw it and I'll convert it to metric. It's just so much easier to work on this machine in metric. What I need to do, I'll mount this in the chuck and I'll measure how much offset there is on there. That's a critical dimension. The dimension of that's critical, as is that. This thread can be anything. That looks like 380 and C. I've got some AN8, which is a nice material. The machine will make it out of that. The first thing in the chuck, measure the offset on that assembly part. Right, I'll put it in the collar chuck because it's easier to. The video actually, so you can see that piece there running true. Well, it's within just under a thou. That's how accurate this chuck is. And you can see that part there is running out, or oh, that's the eccentric. I'll move the camera so you can see how much it is. It'll be a direct measurement off there. Right, so you can see that quite nicely. So we'll find a zero. Zero there, and we've got 92 thou. So. 
82 hours. I think anywhere between sort of 90 and 100 will do because obviously it's an adjuster, so it depends how much you move it, how much the the part that's moving moves, I suppose. Right, so it's going to be quite an interesting job. Um, What I do, I use the marks on the the chuck jaws, those rings to get it somewhere near before you even start using the clock gauge. You can get them, get them pretty, pretty true. I've definitely got enough material to do the job and to part it off a little bit more. Plenty. Some people put the clock on the top and I'll do it on the side, it's just the way I've always done it and I can work on the, the jaw that's and so we'll find the high one, which is that one. So if we loosen this one off, move that one across. Once again high jaw which is that one. That one. Starting to get somewhere now. No, that's not too bad. I've got to skim it anyway, so. But again, I'm using the chicken cherry, bango nail tooling. Bastard. Right, I'm going to change that tip. It's just starting to rub. I'll keep that one for uses a roughing tip for roughing down on any down the side, so we'll put a nice new one in. I still can't believe how well these work for the cost of them. In the box, I think a box of tin. Box of ten tips is uh, 
seven or eight pounds, I just got that for nothing, really all. We're getting very out of size now. Just for this face, at the same time. That's really in the end, by the time that cools down it's going to be pretty good. There's a very slight recess on there, very slight shoulder, I need to machine that next. That's it there, just a little wee recess, I'll measure that up and, and do that next. Right, zero the DRO, we need to come out 5mm. It cuts 0.3 of a mil deep. One three of a mil, which is one more two. <laughs> No tear down that needs to be done now. That one's a mill taken off it. Push it off. Chamfer on there. No need it offsetting this way. 92 thousand it was. It is you would expect it's running through because I've just machined it. So you need to bring it across this way. From zero that. Come across here, 82 thou, so we're using this one off. Tighten that one up. And let's have a measure, see what we've got. We are we are too much, look at it. Past that thing. A high point which is that one. I 
110. I'm going to go across that way a little bit. It's not a great lorry right now. Five ninety six. If you want to go across that way, right, this looks better. I'm sure it was you. Were. Maybe two. Uh, we settle for that 91, 92. Like I said, it's an eccentric for adjustment. It slides so it's that jaw moves slightly there. Zero. 91, 92, that's good enough for John. Put a centre in next. We first had bar before we um, moved it off centre. No worry, I can do it now. It's got a little pip on the end of it. Take the centre there just to give it a little bit of support. 